Welcome back to the great outdoors, y'all. I got me a haircut. Yeah, I trimmed it up. Streamlined, ready to go crappie fishing, y'all. We're gonna do it. We're committing ourselves to it today. Chickens, I gotta put you up. Leaving on a long journey, packed a lunch. We're heading out. We're heading out to the land of timber. Watch this, this is how we call them in. That is. All right, here y'all go. Got the rooster's pipe. Gotta spread it out so everybody gets a fair shake. Colonel Sanders here. He gets he gets beat up by the little one, man. How you gonna how you gonna let little Mr. Penny beat up on you, dude? You got some giant talents. Go keep doing your thing. I'm going to go get some crappies, hopefully. Possibly giant bass. We be floating, y'all, out here on the lake. This is Lake Ray Roberts. The reason I wanted to come out here and try to catch crappie is, well, I've never caught them that well early in the year out here. Uh, I have caught them good. Uh, looking back on my calendar, a couple weeks from now into April. But this time of year is, uh, is, is can be tough because the fish sort of scattered out. Uh, the bass are sort of the same way before they move to the bank and spawn, which is the best crappie bite. It's awesome. But this time of year, what they'll do right before they spawn is they'll go up into the creeks and they'll kind of hover around the float. Or they'll just hold on some brush and some cover. And today we've got overcast, which is not good for putting fish tight to cover. It, it sort of makes them suspend and hover around. I have a weird attraction to the tough lakes because it's like if you can figure them out on a, on a tough lake or if it's tough for you individually and you finally figure it out, it feels so good. It's, it's like a big win. Even if you only catch a couple of good fish, figure that little nugget out and it's just a personal win. So I'm gonna take a look around, see if we can see any crappies and get them on the line. Okay, we are in a creek now, kind of midway into it, and there are lots of white bass floating around. I actually just caught one. But I wanna see if any of these floating fish around this timber are big crappies. So I'm actually gonna start out with just an eighth ounce jig head, and I've got this toxic waste green colored uh, bug on here. Try not to hit every tree. This is going to be a problem. I can already tell you. I'm going to run into a lot of trees today. But this is something that really stands out in this dirty water. This bright pink jig head. It's my favorite. That's my go-to color anyways. But that, that chartreuse green is really nasty. Stands out really good. So I'm in about 12 foot. When I get out towards the creek channel, you start seeing a lot of life, a lot of shad. Okay, we got a fish right here in front of me. Got him. Oh! Oh, that's a big one. Fish looks kind of long. It might be a catfish or gar. I think it's a gar. That's a gar. Just ate it. Got him. Oh, yep, it's a gar. Got him. Oh my gosh, look at that gar. I am the crappie jig gar master. How I got him in the nose, nobody knows. Wow. Well, he's got some he's got some little snappers on him. Mm. Woo! 
Definitely gonna need a new bug after that one. I can definitely see this thing, which is good. But wrong species, twice in a row. Oh, got him. White bass floater. <sighs> so not the drones I'm looking for. There we go. Finally got one of those big ones on a stump. Oh. Do exist. Played that one just right. Floater, most likely a female. Phew, okay, that one was in about seven foot. Oh, there's a big one right at the top of this tree right here. I'm just gonna sneak up to it. Nope, that's a gar. I saw its profile. Little little gar. Oh gosh. Oh god that thing took off with it, whatever it was. took off with it. Oh, got another giant on a tree, y'all. Oh my gosh. This one clapped it. Oh, come here, baby. Oh, yeah. God. There we go. That one was coming up there sunning in like four foot. Dude, that's a mega. Well, this is a slow bite, but the bites that I'm getting off these trees are big females. Oh, yeah. saw me a nice blob on the graph, and wow, bam. This looks like something big. I'm gonna approach it with this. Swimmy first. Got him. Oh gosh, come here. Oh. Oh goodness. Is that really what you expect to catch? Right in the middle of a tree. Kitty cat, really? Oh, I'll tell you what though, since you went through all the trouble just to eat that jig. I'll be taking you home for the dinner table. Because you are tasty. So catfish are pretty much in the same phase as well right now. They're getting ready to, to move up, spawn in these pockets. And the shad are spawning back here in the creeks too. So you just don't know what you're gonna catch. I don't really mind it. I don't, as long as my rod's getting bent, I'm having fun. A nice fat kitty cat wants to jump on the line. I'll put them in the in the grease. We actually had blackened catfish and crappie last night, and I've got to say the crappie or the catfish blackened is 
maybe a hair better than the crappie. Oh gosh. Oh my gosh, I got another catfish. I know Steph's gonna be happy about that because she loved those catfish last night. She kind of took took most of them from me. Both the catfish fillets. Thread that baby on there. Ooh, don't forget to split the butt. Wow, well, bam, they're, they're munching this thing. Oh yeah. Now we're we're starting to see fish just in the treetops, about five, six foot down. Oh my god. That's a big one. I think I just missed a really big crappie. I'm gonna follow it. Looks like it's going over this tree. Can get it right on top of her and just tickle her nose. She might eat it. Oh, got her! Oh my gosh, came off again. Oh, that's a freaking giant, guys. God dang it. Oh, she thumped it. I don't know. I don't know what happened. Lost her. That was, oh my god. Oh, she was right in between two trees at first when I saw her, and she was kind of hot. Came out, was following it, and then she bit it. I just smoked it. Oh, you're mine. Come on. Eat it. Go. Oh, yes. Oh, no, it's a guard. It's a daggum. It's gar in the daggum face. Why do they look so round? Daggum it. I have landed a gar. Gave him the old chin biz. Goodness gracious. I tell you what, I'm nervous to put my hand down there. Would you? Would you do that? I'm just going to settle for the old rod poke method. Get out of there. Oh, these look good. How does that look round on the live scope? I don't know, but it does. Be biting my other bass line up here. God. That dumb you. Oh, oh, he's about to get me. Come here now. Oh gosh. No. Oh. Slippery little hot dog. If it is not abundantly clear by now, I can't tell the difference between a long gar and a squatty crappie. That's how much I stink at live scope. But I'm trying to learn, I'm trying to learn every time I go. I think it really depends on which way they're facing, you know, like when you see them, if they're like head on, they might look around. But when they turn sideways, I've noticed that, I'll get my crappie jig by something, it'll turn sideways. I'm like, oh, that's a guard, just pull it out. But that one, I hit him head on and he snapped it right away. I went all the way back in the creek it was not good back there it seems like most of these fish are just staging 58 degree water it wasn't any warmer back there it was actually 57 it was colder so i think middle of this creek is going to be the program for catching them but it, <laughs> it ain't many I'll tell you that the ones i do catch are big though motor started i'm moving i just need to look at something else i fished one one thousandth of this creek arm it is just gigantic and i'm sure in some spots the crappie are heavy but it's not right here Ah. New 
through spot on a point. It was only sitting in 10 foot of water. That one was actually floating away from cover. And attacked it right away. Gar. Got one locked on a tree. This is it. If it don't eat it on this cast, it ain't gonna eat. Got him. Yeah, that's a good one too. Come here, get in the boat, white crappie. Oh, you were stubborn. Did not want to move. Oh, yeah, baby. That last crappie was just hugged onto a tree, but the previous one was just wide open. I've seen giants caught in just wide open water, and still my goal. Freshwater goal, three pound crappie, 13 pound largemouth, one day. Here's something right here. This might be achievable. She wants it. Got her. It's a good one. Yeah. Right in that V, baby. The key goal, you're making these little precise casts, is you want to try to trace that jig over their back. So you always want to keep the, the jig above the crappie because their their eyes are positioned to look up. But if you can bring it like right here and keep it right there, they go, they rise up like that and go boop, grab it. I'm going to stick with toxic green bumping bug. Seems to be getting the job done. They definitely need a little color pop in this water. It's just real dirty. All right, new spot that we came to. It's not loaded or anything, but if I look around for a few minutes, I'm able to, to see one. No giants this far, just good keeper crappie. Just gonna creep up here to about 10 feet because that's how long my pole is. Dang, that one actually swam towards the bottom. I don't know what it was doing. There's another one right here though, close. Working my jig towards it. Wants it. Got him. Ah. Floater. I'm just gonna throw him back. Got you in my sights. Here we go, 10 foot, let her eat. Good trajectory. Fish sees it, wants it. Got her. Good. Good. Man, y'all, now, now it's getting fun. Happy fun times. I would be willing to bet that 90% of these fish I'm catching are females, just isolated females on that brush. That is fun stuff, man, fun stuff. These aren't giants. I would guess these are mostly 12 inches that I'm catching. Yeah, that was 11 and a half. This one is not moving. Got her. Oh my gosh. Would not move. Look at that, full of eggs. Ready to do the business. 
had to dead stick the crap out of that one. Basically tickle its nose with that bumping bug. Just tickle, 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 tickle right on the nose. All right, I got a big one right here. It is not wanting to eat. I'm gonna give it a different color. Maybe a whole different bait. Give it a little electric chicken. Let's see if it gets electrified on that. Power up and eat, girl. find this fish there it is went back to its tree okay this one is not gonna eat wow oh gosh oh it did eat dropped it in front of it that's a decent one too I, I mean I, I trace it over its back three times and then the last time it just said all right I'm had enough shot out and grabbed it that was awesome oh, man messing up on my hook sets like drop the line my my line is sitting like in the middle of my bail not seated when I set the hook it pops it open no matter, got him. <sighs> got him. It's not the one I wanted, though. Plugging away, y'all. Plugging away on it. Well, at this point, y'all, we are forming a sack of crappies. Switched up to that electric chick and they don't seem to mind it. No magnums, but not schooled up whatsoever. Onesie twosies. Not even twosies, just onesies. And they do not want to buy it. They're being Cratchies today instead of crappies. Mm. Putting together a satchel. Satchel. giant yes giant come on baby oh that's a huge one that's what i wanted right there Armando. <laughs> oh my gosh right in the wedge of a tree out in 24 feet of water that's a big girl right there. 
178. That's a big girl right there. Come on now. That's what we got here fishing for. Oh, look at that big mouth. Mm. Mm. Oh my goodness. That was a toad. An absolute toad, man. I don't have much more daylight, but I'm just gonna make a few more casts and just try to get one more like that, my goodness. That was the bite I was looking for all day. Holy cow, look at this tree right here. Mm. It's the girthiest tree I've seen all day. It's out in the middle of the creek. There's a big one sitting on the back side of it too. Oh, biggin, biggin on it. Got him. Got him. It's another big one. It's another big one. Oh, yeah. Come here. Oh, my gosh. I can't even lift it. Come here. Oh, my gosh. That one's bigger. That one's bigger. Oh, ho, 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 ho. On the giant tree, baby. Bumping bug. Oh, I know that one's bigger because I could barely lift it, guys. Whoo-wee. We out here catching pigs, boy. Oh, God. Two. Two fourteen, guys. Two fourteen. That is a slab, baby. Oh my gosh, that is a slab. Holy cow. Oh my gosh, y'all. I knew that one was gonna eat. That was awesome. Oh, that was awesome. Oh, I love crappie fishing like that. I floated over to a giant stump randomly after just catching that huge one. I looked at my electronics, I saw a huge tree. It was a giant trunk. It was underwater. And I saw a big one on the back side of it. And I dropped the jig down and it just went like this. And when they when their nose up looking at it, you know, and that thump and boom. Oh, it's a giant. Oh, that's one of my biggest crappie ever. And that is nowhere close to three pounds. But holy cow, it seems like these bigger ones are just in the middle of the lake. Literally just I don't there's no structural thing out here. It's just the middle. A bunch of trees. I kind of want to end on that one, but uh, I'm going to take a little more peeking. I'm going to do a little more peeking. Oh, my gosh. God, I love crappie fishing. It's so fun when you get that, that jig thump, y'all. Electric chicken's working. I like it. Oh, gosh. Tiny mic compared to the other one. Barely. Yeah, I want another one of those just megalodons. I may just go out to the middle. Literally just the middle. And there's trees across this entire lake. Oh, that's a white bass. Done a lot of damage with that jig today. A little eighth ouncer, guys. That's the that's the one you don't want it to shoot down there real fast you want it to kind of just float in that's why i'm using this really long pole so i can keep it on top of them oh maybe you got him oh yeah feels like a good one too it's like another whopper there it is Come on, baby, yes. Oh my gosh, we are catching the bigs. Catching the bigs. Yeah, they're like, they're eating now. I don't have to work as hard to get them to bite. There's lots of little pod of bait too. These little bait balls that are moving through here and it just makes it, it's perfect crappie fare. 
another one right here. Floating high. Wants it. Got him. Oh my gosh. It's a big one too. Oh my gosh. We're just catching hammers. We're catching hammers, baby. Holy cow. That's another one that might go too. <laughs> oh, we're on them. They're floating high. They're, they're rising up these the air temperatures. Two pounder even, baby. Come on, let's freaking go. Oh, yeah. Oh, man, y'all. Put them on the stringer, buddy. The bite has gotten a little bit better. Well, they'll, they'll come like six inches to get a bait, whereas before they would not come two inches to get a bait. I literally had to tickle their nose. So this is the bait I'm using right here. This is the two inch bumping bug. And it's just perfect for this dirty water. So I'll leave a link in the description for you guys if you wanna get some of the crappie baits. Um, you can use my code LFG and save 10%. The dangle dart and the bumping bug are my choices for vertical fishing. So you can also go to our store in Crum and we've got uh, all of our crappie baits in there as well now. So if you just wanna stop by your local, googasquad.com or go visit us at 2345 Nail Road. I'm on the Dead Sea catching eggs, baby. Let's freaking go. I have probably caught a dozen crappie on that one electric chicken bug. I think I will switch it out now. Put a fresh one on. Oh my gosh, I might, I might see another big one right here. This might be another mega blaster. It's a little one. It's actually hanging hanging close to a gar. I'm gonna make some crappie cakes with the little ones and the big ones. I'm just gonna blacken them. Or just throw them on the pellet grill, smoke them. Ooh, baby, we're gonna be eating good for a little bit. Wants it. Sees it. Not a big one. You know what? <laughs> I'm gonna throw it back. My gosh. I got some I got some fish in that live well right now. Dandy located. Come on, big girl. Right at the top of a tree. I can get this one, y'all. baby that's my last fish of the day yes what a day y'all oh man we don't have 25 but we've got a lot we got some good ones there's that one that went over two we got another one that's right at two and another two in there look at that y'all oh my gosh I'm going to be cleaning crappie for days. Outstanding. And in here, uh, I've got a letter. I'm going to end with a note that I found in my truck. Sometimes when I'm fishing places, I'll get, to, uh, get back to the truck at the end of the day, and then I will find a note on my truck from a fan, which is pretty cool says this a reading from notes on windshields to LFG huge fan been watching since the days of Winston you and OSG are doing a great job raising your kids I miss the old school LFG merch though more crappie videos please from Jeremy Davis well Jeremy 
Thank you for the note, and there you go. Crappies on the line, my gosh. Those are gonna eat really good, y'all. I started the day really frustrated, uh, catching a lot of gar on the live scope. I knew I was kinda in the zone where fish should be, but it was, it was just tough. You know, I, I, I had two fish in like three hours and uh, I decided to just move. I just needed to move, go somewhere else, kind of restart and started putting together a little something and it came together there at the end of the day. Had a really good uh, crappie day. And also it's on the Nemesis Lake. It's on the Nemesis Lake. Th this place is just chocked full of trees. I could literally do that for days and days and days and not even leave this giant creek that I'm sitting in. It's just so huge. It kind of reminds me of Lake Fork. I was glad to get on those crappie because it's been in the back of my mind ever since last year. I caught them really shallow on the bank. That's my favorite way to catch them when they're spawning. But I've always wondered, with all this timber out here, there's gotta be some crappies on there. And I've tried it a couple times while I'm bass fishing and not caught them. And I just wanted to commit myself to it today. And I did, and we caught some whoppers. So still on the quest to catch that three pound crappie. We're catching some two pounders, man. It is, it is awesome. So you guys smash that like button. Uh, thanks for tuning in today. And again, if you want to pick up some of the crappie baits, you can go to goonsquad.com. It's, it's linked down below or stop by our, uh, our store in Crumb. And I thank you guys for being with me on this, this great day of dangling. My hands smell like fish. Oh, I can't wait to get that fillet knife in my hand, crack a cold one, and uh, and just reminisce on this day. It was awesome. So thanks for tuning in. Love you guys. I'll see you on the next one.